Welcome to my channel Art Saga and to the new tutorial video how to draw floors and set wall constraints. For those who are new to this channel, please like and subscribe the channel and please check the previous video. It will help you understand this video better. So guys, let's start. So guys, in previous class we learned about how to set units, levels and how to draw walls. Today we will learn about floors and later we will learn about how to draw a plan. So let's go to floor. So you can find floor in architectural and you can see floors here. If you drop down just like wall there are multiple options like floor architecture, floor structural, floor by face and floor by slab edge. So we will select floor architectural for today. So in order to draw floor, first you need to go to a plan. So we will go to ground level plan and we will select floor. Now floor architectural is selected. Now you can see two sections over here. This is modify, modify tool is activated and a property section bar is activated which shows the property of uh, floors. So you can see some default floors here by Revit. So just like wall, uh, the properties and the modify section is the same. So every time you build something, these two sections will arise. So let's go and draw some floors. So I can draw floors of any shape and size. I can draw polygonal floor. I can draw floor of any shape and size. So I will this. Now whenever I draw something the floor will be in the pink lines so I need to finish it to make my custom shape now if I click on finish this will not uh, this will not generate a floor because the line are intersecting each other it should have a closed loop so I will continue this so lines cannot intersect each other so I will continue this and what I will do I will join these two uh, lines so this is a closed loop now if I say yes so my floors are drawn now I will delete it and we will start drawing a custom floor what we did now we draw a floors of any shape and size with the Revit generic floors now we'll draw floors of our custom shape and size so let's go to floor architectural and we go to property section now we need to edit floor and make our own floor. So let's say I want to draw a floor of plinth level. So our plinth level is, I uh, will go to north elevation, which is 600 mm high. So I will draw a floor which is 600 mm high, or uh, 600 mm width. So let's go to, again, I'll close this. I'll go to plinth, uh, let's say, and I'll go to, floor level, floor architectural and I will say edit type I will duplicate it, we will name it as plinth level six hundred mm I will say ok but now my width is not changed the default thickness is still 400 mm so I will go to edit type and say here 600 mm I am not changing any material because we will learn about materials in our next class. So the thickness is 600 and I will say OK. And I will say OK again. Now our plinth is drawn. Now I want to draw a floor. So let's say I want to draw a squarical floor or a rectangular floor. So I have drawn a floor and before saying yes, you need to check, check the constraints. So when you go in floor you can see options here called constraints so my level should be plinth level to the first floor level sorry the my level should be from ground ground level to first uh, plinth level so i'll say this is plinth level so the floor will be drawn below this level and the height offset is zero and this is correct i will zoom out and say yes so my plinth is drawn so if I go to any elevation 
and I can see my floor is drawn between ground floor level and plinth level of 600 mm height. So now I have edited this plinth and I have drawn a custom shape. So now I have edited this plinth and drawn a custom shape. Now we'll start building wall upon them and we will then learn about how to cover those walls with the slab just made by floor. You just need to change the thickness. So first we will learn about walls now. So I'll go again to wall and architecture. So I've created two walls here, brick wall 150 mm and brick wall 100 mm. We will use 150 mm wall for external walls and brick wall 100 mm for internal walls. So let's select brick wall 150 mm. Now whenever I go to this draw section, before doing that, you need to check the constraints again and the height of the wall you want to have. So my height of the wall should be from plinth level to the first floor level. So if we go to north elevation, I want to draw my walls from plinth level 600 to the first floor level 3600. So my wall, wall height should be 3000 mm. So I'll go to plinth level again. I'll select wall, wall 150 mm. My base, cons base constraint is plinth level, which is correct. But my top constraint is unconnected and my wall will be 8000 mm high. So I don't want that. I want it only till 3000 mm. But my level is set. So I, what I will do, I will drop this down and select up to level, first floor level. So my wall will stop till here only. So when I select this, the unconnected height is automatically set to 3000. Now you cannot change it manually. If you want to change a, high, a wall of... Uh, height of wall manually you need to go to unconnected again and you need to put a desired height what you want so right now i'll select first floor level now again walls have some types so if you are drawing a wall on a grid so you will select wall center line but now i want to draw wall on the edges of this plinth so what i'll do in location line I will drop this down and I will select for finish face exterior there are some more options like core center line or finish face interior if you want to draw a wall on interior face you can select this option right now we'll select uh, finish face exterior so I'll select this I'll zoom out and I will draw this one so now you can see the wall I have drawing is drawn on external side of the plinth face so what i'll do i'll just press space bar so when i space uh, press space bar the wall will uh, draw on the in inner edge of the plinth so i'll say okay again i will draw this i'll select okay say okay again click again click and i'll complete a loop of walls so here it is, I have drawn a wall on the edges of floor. Now if I want to see the layers of the wall, what I'll do, select the wall and go to fine. So I now I can see the layers of the wall. Now I want to draw some internal walls. So what I'll do again, go to walls and I'll select 100 mm wall. Again check, check for base constraint and top constraint which are set. And I'll draw some internal walls now. So I'll draw this. And let's say I'll connect with here. I'll draw one more here. Now if you want to go outside the command now. I have completed the wall but still I can see the wall command is active. So I'll escape two times and I'm outside the command now. Now our walls are ready on the floor plan. So if I go on north elevation, I can see the walls are correctly drawn. Now I'll go to 3D as well to show you how it is drawn. So if I pan the mouse using shift key and the scroll key. So you can see these walls are correctly drawn till first floor level only with internal wall as well. So again I'll go to plinth level. Now I want to cover this with a slab above. So what I will do, I will go to first floor level. Now the immediate upper level then plinth level is first floor level. Now you can see, uh, you cannot see 
anything here so what you will do again go to property section tab in property section tab you need to go and find underlay so underlay is a tool where you can see the floor which is below any level so what i'll read the range base level is none right now so i'll select this and i want to see below first floor level which is till plinth level so i will select here plinth level as soon as i select plinth level you can see a plan but in gray is shown here so it this is just an indication that our building is of this size and shape so it would be easier to draw a floor above this so now this is our base this is our underlay now what we'll do draw a slab over it so our slab thickness would be 150 mm so what i will do i will go to floor floor architectural now 150 mm floor is not made till now so what i'll do go to edit type duplicate it and let's say i'll say it slab 150 mm and say okay i'll again go to edit type and say for thickness set the thickness as 150 mm and say okay and again say okay now our 150 mm slab is done what i will do i will draw the slab so i will select the edges of the wall to draw the slab so i'll go here just click it and move your mouse to the other point and click it and click it so make sure the loop is completed so so if i do not complete the loop and leave this line as it is and say yes it will not draw it will say line must be in closed loops so i'll say continue and what i'll do i will drag this line till here and continue the loop so now we have a closed loop again you should check the level this is first floor level which is correct and i will say okay so they are asking me to attach it to the bottom or not so i'll say no and our floor is ready so now if i go to 3d you can see all the floors are correctly drawn if i go to north elevation and see the floor is correct i want to draw a parapet wall of 1000 mm above the first floor level so what what should we do we will go to first floor level and we'll go to walls as we want a parapet on these edges of the wall and from the first floor level to the parapet level so what i'll do i'll go to location line which is selected as exterior face which is correct the base constraint should be first floor level which is again correct but the top constraint is unconnected and which is 1000 mm this is also correct but a good way to do it is select the parapet level so i know the height is 1000 mm but it is good to select the constraints here so i'll select parapet level now let's draw walls so what i'll do i'll select the edges and so this is going again outside of the wall i'll press space bar and the wall is on the inner edge so i'll select click again i'll select click drag the mouse click again okay this is incorrectly drawn i'll just move it afterwards and click again so the loop is complete but these wall while drawing i have drawing it incorrectly so i'll just move it and there's also a command called move uh, which comes in modify but i will tell you it in detail in my next class because it is an another section to learn so i'll just move it okay now this is correct so now our walls are drawn which are parapet walls so if i go to 3d i can see the parapet wall is drawn i can go in elevation also and see the height is 1000 mm so guys today we learned about how to draw floors and how to adjust wall height and its constraints so stay tuned for my next class and like and subscribe my channel thank you